Are you undecided about the GTEC i10? Let me show you the machine. Hello everyone, welcome back. It's nice to see you here watching this video. Today we will review the GTEC i10 printer. Once again GTEC sent me this printer to give my opinion about it. There is no kind of permit to make this video. Yes, we have here the GTEC i10. Let's see what is inside the box and let's assemble the machine. The first thing I found inside the box was this quick start guide with the package list and instructions for assembling, wiring, printing and below I found a support area with the link to the online user manual. A nice mouse pad. Thank you GTEC. Let's start unboxing all parts. I checked the machine are pre-assembled in two parts. In style as a CR10, an LCD with knob, unpacking the heated bed, and we found here the Z axis all assembled, USB cable, and some filament, a package with tools, SD card, and some screws. A spool holder. The printer comes with a bounder on the extruder. I prefer direct drive, but in these cheap printers it comes with the bounder tube. It's okay. Power supply 24 volts. With protected connectors with this injected mold. These are very nice to protect us. Another part of the spool holder and at least the Z axis. Let's start by the heated bed. I noticed that it bogged some slag. To eliminate this, just tighten the screws at bottom. Check it's everything ok. And it's fixed. Check if it slides well, otherwise the screws get too tight. Now I noticed that the bays are not flat on the table. Let's fix this. Let's put the base aside. Just unscrew these four screws. But just a little bit. Don't remove the screws. Now we place the base on the table and check if all the base feet are in contact with the table surface. Check if are not any cable under the feet. Now just tighten the four screws. and it's fixed too. Now let's take a look at inside the electronic box. Inside the electronic box we found the GTEC board, the GT2560, with the very neat wires. The board came with the A49W8 step drivers. They can be replaced in case of more function or we can simply upgrade to acquired ones, like the TMC2800. Now let's assembling the Z axis on the base. Just these four screws. Okay, next step is wiring the machine. 
Let's start. The printer has a filament runout sensor. This is a very nice feature. Now let's mount the LCD screen. This blue side it's placing facing up. Now let's put these two screws to tighten the LCD on the frame. We're incomplete, let's assemble our power supply. The printer came with a glass in style trapeze build plate. The build volume are 220 by 220 by 260. The printer came with integrated mount for PL touch. The printer are very easy to assemble. I take less than 50 minutes to assemble it. Now let's make the bed leveling and let's make some test prints. To test the printer, I will use the GTEC Silk Multicolor Filament. Let's test the noise of the machine. In my opinion, this printer compared to other prints of the same price range has many advantages. For me, the main advantage is it's easy to assemble. For who wants to start in 3D printing is excellent. A run out filament sensor, very useful, 4mm on I axis, board with Atemega 256 which allows you to install modern firmware without memory space in shoes. The printer came with bootloader. It's easy if you want to upgrade your firmware. Removable step drivers, glass build plate, BL touch mount, and excellent price on Amazon. Disadvantages of the printer only came with one bearing on the wheels, which caused some instability on the axis. But the printer prints very well, which has become my favorite printer for small prints. Maybe in the future. I will switch to the direct driver system because I'm not a big fan of the Bowden 2. If you have any friend who are undecided on choosing a printer, be sure to send him the link of this video. I hope you enjoyed my opinion about the printer. Don't forget to give me that thumbs up and subscribe the channel, ring that bell to receive notifications when I upload the new content. And guys, thank you so much for watching this video and see you at the next one. Until there, a big hug to all of you and one more time, thank you.